saving the earth. Okay? Everyone's on about saving the earth. The saving the earth requires realism, not revolution. What needs to take place worldwide and everywhere, from the dinner tables to big business, is a series of meetings and reviews with overall conclusions and evaluation, then consensus. How to save the planet realistically, realistically, by Marwan de Fufi. It can be done. To Stephen Hawking. Last words. He suffered a heavy defeat, Stephen Hawking. Motor neuron disease. But he went on to study his doctorate at Oxford. Got his doctorate. Wrote a book called The Theory of Everything. So it can be done. To Stephen Hawking's last words. It can be done. Our planet. One home. One humanity. One love. What have I learnt so far in 10 years? By watching humanity, I've learned that if the deep end climate crisis teaches us anything, is that we are embedded in the natural world and ignore this reality at our, at our peril. Climate change, of course, is only one facet of the planet's poor environmental health. The other major ecological emergency is collapsing biodiversity, which threatens the innumerable benefits humans obtain from nature. We often take these for granted because they are underpriced or not priced at all and are tempted to, to degrade and exploit them to exhaustion. The, pl the plight of many fisheries, for example, in our oceans. In the wake of Earth Day, however, it is worth stepping back to consider the financial value of these ecosystem services and cost of degrading and failing to account for the planet's natural capital assets. However, adjusting our traditional economic and governance models might help place the world on a more sustainable course. And we all want to be on a more sustainable course, don't we? Here's where I introduce my Project Earth. Project Earth. One Earth, one humanity, one man, one mission, one project. About Project Earth. I started Blue Sky Technology, Technologies back in 2010 and now I present to you Project Earth. It resulted from a result from Blue Sky thinking, no limits to idea creation and brainstorming solutions, to inherent local, micro and global macro problems be a social or natural world, such as climate change. The real story, 2021. 2031, a decade of climate change. Evident in the climate weather chaos or climate change, witnessed across the globe recently. And this will continue. Earth is at the tipping point. Listen to the science hearing in this speech. Time for world leaders to act now. This is Project Earth by me, Marwan Dafufi, Blue Sky Technologies. World story, decade of change. 2021 2031 we've got nine years left for drastic climate change and these are the days wherein we will judge for ourselves whether the human race continues this is a time where we almost choose between the road that leads to death or the road that leads to life well it's a fork road now well, it's a fork road now ladies and gentlemen a fork road one leads to utopia abundance life one leads to death dystopia big brother surveillance capitalism and a slave of a workforce slavery humanity enslaved is where one road leads to death and one road leads to life choose life or death it's a life or death situation but we haven't got much time the time to act is now each of us every single one of us to act now now is the time now or never my project turf was conceived with a clear understanding that we are either conscious or unconscious participants in our existence. We do not exist in isolation. We are not separate from the totality of existence. The dynamic of Project Earth has always been based on the healing distorted concept of personal and societal isolation through the reintegration of human species. We reintegrate with one another when we communicate. When we communicate. Communications. Then the warning signals can pass throughout humanity. 
number one on my agenda. It is my conviction at Project Earth that without immediate radical change on the level never undertaken in any prior epoch in history of the human race is in potentially terminal phase of a long and tragic decline, hurtling towards disintegration like a wave that has broken against the rocks the collective cultural and educational inertia. Humankind has the opportunity in this moment, right now, right here, right now, to transcend the errors of the past and participate in the healing of the damage. We're healing the damage and we're doing it right here, right now. We exist and we're healing the damage. Number two on my agenda. Exponential networking. Project Earth is a human design experiment. The goal of Project Earth was originally to demonstrate that we human beings could act as the primary network medium of communication towards dissemination of information regarding the emergency on Earth and mutual inspiration towards healing. We never had large central organisation. Our primary organising principle was shared with all life. It's our love of the planet, or one another that is our prime mover. We love this planet and we love one another. That's what moves us. We discovered in 2010 that our power transcends the conventional media. Long before the advent of the internet, I was proved conclusively that we are not only capable but very willing to act in a manner befitting a viable species. For over two decades now, I've committed myself to communicating information disseminated through social media, namely Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Number three on my agenda. I do not solicit funding. I do not beg for donations. But I encourage you to join me in my voice for collective, a collective demand that our governments do what is right for the environment and the future of our species and for the generation and for our children. We encourage everyone to transcend political inertia and participate in democracy. This is democracy in action, performing democracy. Wherever you may be, we have very little time. The time to act is now, right now, everybody, right here, right now, now or never. Number four, my agenda. Hopefully, I'll grow to millions of participants worldwide through the use of simplest of all electronic mediums. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, social media. Now with the explosion of the World Wide Web, I can now build websites. We each can network in a far more efficient and cost-effective manner. Feel free to download articles, share my videos, share my audio visuals and share them with your colleagues, friends, families and familiars. I pray that Project Earth continues to help us discover a community that we already are and how powerful we can be when we work and pray together and use our collective political power to demand change, demand the impossible, and join my effort. Be part of my project tour. Be part of conversations that matter about works that make a difference. I end on that point. Be part of my project tour. Conversations that matter about works that make a difference. Thank you. You've been listening to Marwanda Fufi and my Project Earth. Hope that was clear, concise, and you understood it. We need to act now for our children's sake, for our children's children's sake. The Earth is in danger. This is emergency planet Earth. We need you to act now. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.